You guys ready for our concert of giving thanks today? Thanksgiving and giving thanks is not just a holiday where we remember some of the founding of America and all the stuff that we talk about around that time, but it is essential for the health of a Christian. You can't be anxious and thankful at the same time. I think once I heard that, it was just, I don't know, something clicked in my head where it's just like, that's so right. Now with finals week uh, coming up, it's just remembering if I'm starting to feel anxious to just take a moment, say thank you God for putting me where I need to be. When we give thanks, it changes the atmosphere of our lives. How many know that? I think I'm really gonna take time in my in my day every morning to think about what what God's done for me and how I can be thankful rather than just thinking about all my anxieties. I really liked when he talked about how if we give thanks every day, it'll keep like anxiety and all kinds of negative like a lot of negative feelings out of our, you know, headspace. And I'm really encouraged to do that this week. If you ever sense that you're, you're distant from God, I have. Just start giving thanks. If unthankfulness is a slippery slope away from God's presence, giving thanks is the gate code into His presence. Unthankfulness is one of the biggest roadblocks to the presence of Jesus. And oftentimes I'm so focused on what's going wrong, what's not going right, what I don't have, what I wish I could have. when. Jesus has everything that I need, which is Him sit, sit, literally sitting right there in front of me. And when you begin to thank God for what you do have and what He has provided you for, your life can be totally different. So this morning, no matter if you're in good times or in bad times, a mountaintop or in a valley, God's will for us is to give thanks in everything. Thankfulness not only impacts our own heart, it impacts those around us. And I submit today, it impacts generations.